Hey, 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 Sammy Du coming to you live from Precious World Office Studios. And again, this is another golden nugget. We're talking on the matter of get rich for free. Get rich for free. What uh, I want to show you is the practicality of making 100 One hundred thousand dollars with an investment of zero, <laughs> zero dollars. I don't look like you can see that well. Let's try this again. Zero. All right. So I want to talk about the practicality of being able to get rich for free, making a hundred thousand uh, dollars with zero dollars of investment. I want to talk to you about the practicality of that. And uh, for those that may not know me, it's Sammy Doom, I'm a real estate uh, investor, consultant, mentor, coach. I've got mentees across the country, uh, helping them get their business off the ground. Um, and uh, I've done over 100 and plus transactions and at least over half a million dollars uh, in gross revenue there. So. Uh, show you a couple of successes. I'm not one to normally brag, but just since we're, we are talking about this, uh, I thought I'd show you a couple of checks. I did make copies. Most of my transactions has been in uh, in wire, but you can kind of see this one here for uh, $51,467.20. Uh, it's one of my LLCs there. Uh, of course, that's not the hundred thousand dollar one I, I know that's not that but I'll tell you what boom let me show you this one hundred and six thousand dollars twenty eight dollars and five cents and again that's one of my uh, other LLC's that I control uh, just so you can see that uh, I've done something so um, I want to talk to you about um, uh, you know how you see all the, the 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 marketing about you can do real estate with zero in and you know get wealthy uh and they're, then they start talking about wholesaling um and then they start talking about how you can do uh, transactions without using any of your money and how easy it is and um you know all those types of things to get you really excited and charge with wanting to start a real estate business now i don't want to discourage you from doing that because uh i'm in it right and if i can do it uh there are others that can also be able to do it but you also need to know the reality and so the way that uh i run my platform i'm not here to try to teach all of the so-called wholesaling and all the different real estate strategy there's a lot of folks trying to do that um, I'm, I'm here trying to talk to you about getting into your mind and, and getting your mindset for one changing your mindset this business requires a different mindset than your typical uh, w-2 type of business uh, working a job versus working for yourself and not only that if you're doing real estate as a hobby you know mindset is not so much if you're trying to make it a full-time lifestyle mindset means a whole lot so uh, this whole mindset about being able to get rich for free uh, where you can use zero dollars to make a hundred thousand uh, dollars we're going to talk about the practicality of that and so the first thing i would say is 
uh, if you're watching this platform, chances are you're new or maybe you've done a deal or two. Uh, maybe you haven't done a whole lot and you're still struggling trying to stay steady in the business. Uh, that's why you're probably watching me here and uh, you're the one that I want to help. You're the one that I want to talk to. You're the one that I'm trying to help encourage. Uh, I will tell you that um, I, I uh, really go after trying to help others because of, you know, we are running into times now where regulations are starting to come into play and they're starting to cut out certain things that we were able to do in the past that we can't do anymore. Uh, for instance, the state of Illinois uh, has now pretty much, you know, dismissed the ability to, to really have a wholesale business in that state. And typically that's because of folks not really knowing what they're doing or hurting people or taking advantage of people or something that is wrong with that so the government felt like it had to come in and protect the constituency. So that's what this platform is about to help minimize and mitigate against uh, the government having to come in and change things by making us professional. And our professionalism starts with mindset. So with um, this, get rich for free with zero dollars in and you can make a hundred thousand dollars let's see how practical that is so first of all if you knew how to do that if you knew how to do that you wouldn't be watching this video right now well i said would, would that be accurate would you agree you wouldn't be watching this video right now because you already know how to do this correct well what if you don't know how to do it well, now you're watching this video and you want me to show you how to do that. So, let me just start with how I learned how to make money in real estate. Let me just start with that. Uh, first of all, uh, I uh, did decide to, you know, go to some seminars, buy some courses, bought a few books. And let me just give you some real numbers with that in mind. Uh, I went to a seminar um, many years, several, several years ago, probably in 2014, 15, somewhere in there, and um, it was initially free, uh, where they get you in and they tell you to go in there and you're there for, you know, a couple of days or whatever, uh, and uh, um, then they give you a little taste of what you can possibly do and then they say and if you like to do that uh, here's the cost of what it would take in order to do that and I think uh, the interest in being able to do that was somewhere around three thousand dollars so I'm gonna write that over here for trying to learn a little bit for, for education. Okay, so I spent $3,000. Now, uh, once uh, I got there and I spent $3,000 to kind of get there for a couple of days, uh, they then uh, said, okay, so uh, you know, we give you a bit of the surface of how it works. So you learned a little bit about the theory, the theory of wholesaling and whatnot. They said, if you really want to know how to do this and do it right, and we will also provide a little bit of help for you and some infrastructure, that will cost you 30000 So I said, yes, I'm in. I, I wanted to take action, and I'm all in. So I spent another... Thirty thousand, and this was still obviously in education. Okay, and um, and this is this came out of my own pocket, my own uh, liquid wealth uh, at the time of getting into this business, and uh, you know we got to a point where they obviously what they tend to do, and you know what what's interesting. What's interesting, when you go to these seminars, 
uh, at some point, the first thing they, at some point, it may not be the first thing, but at some point you get a one-on-one -on -one type of session and one of the one of the questions they're going to ask you is how much money you have set aside to start your real estate business and for marketing. They ask how much money do you have set aside for marketing. Now I came because they said that I could do real estate for free without using any of my own money and still make some money. So it kind of threw me for a loop when they asked me that, why, why do I need money for marketing? Because you told me that I can do real estate for free. But uh, so I gave them some number. Uh, don't really, it didn't really matter. I know, uh, you know, they were kind of sizing me up, I guess. So uh, I gave them some number about what I had to work with or whatever. And long story short, uh, after I had bought this program, uh, they decided to say, you know what, uh, we like you a little bit. You seem to be very serious because you're taking more action. We want to give you something a little bit more unique for you uh, than the folks that bought this program. And for you, we're going to give you uh, some boots on the ground help. We're going to have one of our seasoned folks in the organization come out and visit with you and actually walk you through uh, how, how the process works. But they would only be able to do that for, uh, I think it was two days. They were only able to come to the market of my choice for two days. And so uh, for me to have that kind of help, and of course I'm green, have no clue about what I was doing, uh, and I knew I needed the help because I obviously did not uh, want to fail in this business and you just don't know what you don't know. You really don't know what you don't know um, I said, yes, I'll, I'll, I'm going to go ahead and, and take the upsell. So I gave them another 20000 for boots on the ground. All right, I know that don't look right, but that's supposed to be boots on the ground. Now, uh, <clears throat> I wasn't too excited that they charged me, you know, uh, $53,000 at this point uh, for getting the boots on the ground and things of that nature. So I actually negotiated with them and says, well, you know, if I do the $3,000, um, you guys got to give me credit for the $3,000. Uh, if I did, I'm sorry, if I did the $20,000, you guys got to give me credit for the $3,000. All right, because that, that, that was not even worth anything because here's where the meat of the knowledge was that I was obtaining was right in here. $3,000 didn't make any sense. I didn't learn anything. So because they didn't want to lose the $50,000, uh, they went on and decided to give me a, a refund back for that amount. So that was a little bit of a win for me to negotiate that. Um, and my experience there was, um, you know, learning uh, the strategy of, of wholesaling and a, a couple other things, learning some of the, the, the jargon and buzzwords, all that kind of stuff, how it's supposed to work and uh, assignments and double closes and, all, you know, those types of transactions and, and just kind of learning it. Now, never have done it before, but I'm in that crash course that was... Uh, uh, I think four, three or four days out of a week uh, that that I, I spent uh, on the thirty thousand, and then for the additional twenty thousand, uh, it, it it wasn't an extra course, or I'm sorry, it wasn't an extra visit, but I was afforded some additional uh, products and things of that nature for my infrastructure, as well as um, having uh, someone come visit me. Uh, in the market that I was in and, and working with me for two days. Um, and so that in itself cost me $50,000. And that's actually $50,000 plus travel and hotel and meals and, uh, you know, a few other things. And then, uh, I've bought a number of different books um, that I've got 
uh, on the side. I, I probably spent, I don't know, at least a couple of hundred dollars in different books and things of that nature. So I'm going to put that over here as well. And this were just books uh, from the seminar. These are other books that, um, you know, you get stuck in an education loop where you just don't think you know enough to do anything and so you want to continue to get knowledge and this is in addition to having gone to the seminar because the seminar you're not going to learn everything in 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 those three or four days and they I've learned later don't give you all the secret sauce that is not enough to be successful now they did give me a, a 800 uh, number uh, they call the advisory line and I have a lifetime uh, subscription to, to call on that line. There it is. So I can call them at any time and get whatever help, well, get the help that I need according to their program. So uh, I will tell you that uh, after probably the, the first year, I, I, grew, I grew out of the type of support they were able to give me, uh, maybe sooner than that, because there were some other strategies uh, that once I actually got on the street and I actually got a local mentor or, 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 or mentor that I was able to get hold of more on a regular basis I also having obtained a partner uh, I actually learned other strategies as well and so that advisory line for wholesaling I grew out of that in just like months it was it got to a point where it was a waste of time calling them because they weren't able to help me with some of these other things and it wasn't their business model to teach it. But yet, I spent $50,000. Now, do I regret having spent $50,000? No, because there is a large, large uh, uh, element of this whole thing is you don't know what you don't know. And I learned about a world that existed that uh, I didn't know existed. I learned about some things that were happening that I never knew and, and you're not not going to figure that out on your own unless someone told you the reason you're watching this video now is because you heard something about this 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 arena this this industry that uh, you can do this using no money and get wealthy you heard something about that okay and that's why you're watching this now and there's still people uh, heck, they're, they're realtors, licensed realtors that haven't heard that you can do wholesaling and don't know, you know, the, the multiple ways of investing in real estate. Realtors, agents, they, and they went to get their state license and they don't know all of this. So you heard something and now you're watching and you're trying to learn something and you're trying to learn something for free, which I get that. We all like free stuff, right? I'm going to give you a little hint. Uh, just kind of a, a, a prelude if you don't put anything in something you tend not to get anything out because there's nothing to be used it's kind of a, a, a principle of, of God you know you reap what you sow if you don't sow anything in you, you don't you can't have any type of manifest you can't have any type of, of, of fruit that comes out of that seed that you put in huh? don't want to get too spiritual with you but at the end of the day uh, I do believe in God I'm a man of faith and God did place certain principles in this work in this planet whether you believe in him or not you still operate in him whether you believe in him or not and one of the principles are sowing and reaping and if you got you got to have something to put in in order to get something out so um, <clears throat> That's one of the flawed areas about this. We'll get, get a little bit further into that. So uh, have I been able to learn after having uh, this type of money spent how to do this? Yes, and a little bit of no. And this is another thing I would tell you. Because on top of this, this was a, 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 a small, I won't say small, it's pretty large, but this was an investment just for me to get the knowledge. In other words, the one that had the knowledge of doing something like this, I had to, I had to actually pay to get that knowledge. And I got the knowledge without really having the experience 
or having enough knowledge to do the experience until I actually got a partner and a mentor to, to also help with that. Um, but initially, when I heard about getting rich with no investment, I went in. I, I said, wow, I got to learn how to do that. But at the end of the day, I end up having to pay for the knowledge in order to kind of get that. And not only that, I also have an experience. Uh, shortly after this, I made my first bad real estate decision. I took some other money that I had and I bought some assets, which in my case uh, was a bad decision. I bought some assets, what, and it was a multiple assets. It was some land, some some rentals, and all this. And I spent I spent another fifty thousand dollars for those assets. And worst decision I made, worst decision I made. And you can look at a li my library of other videos and kind of hear the story behind why that was such a bad decision. Uh, my recommendation, if you have uh, funds, to sit on those funds for a little bit and flip them. Make, make, the, make that money work for you for a little bit. Don't, don't take your funds and then go buy up assets and now you don't have anything to run your business with. Don't do that. <laughs> so that's another golden nugget don't do it hold on to your money the best thing you can do is get a mentor that can kind of help you and direct you on how to handle your funds and and what you can do and do some things that you can get your money back fairly quick uh, when you're buying rentals and things of that nature that's there's nothing quick about that and not only that, the investments that I made there were bad. Uh, they were upside down. They were in an area that was not appreciating. They were depreciating. And there was a lot of problems with the property. So it cost even more money on top of that. So this money was an actual loss to me eventually. I got, to a, 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 I, I got into a, a very thick situation with that situation where I ended up getting some attorneys involved. And even their recommendation was... You know, it's better from a business standpoint and with the way the numbers are, it's just better to let these items foreclose, <laughs> believe it or not. And these were my first decisions. So uh, this was actually a loss. However, it was experience, uh, experience and learning experience. So there you can actually consider this education as well. So for me, in this instance, um, it cost me to learn how to do real estate without using any of my money, uh, per se, uh, and that whole uh, practicality. It's, it's cost me, uh, you know, 100000 plus, you know, $200 in books, right? 100000 $200 at least and that's a little soft because I'm just dealing with the big rocks I'm, I know with a number of other courses and things of that nature I bought I'm, I'm well over that so um, we're talking about the practicality of <clears throat> of learning how to get rich for free so let me also tell you this uh, when I was learning this just like you are trying to uh, when I was learning this I know the one the one course and the one seminar I was in there was at least uh, 300 people let's call it 200 there were 200 others and not all of them bought the the twenty thousand dollar or the thirty thousand dollar course uh, but I, there was a good line of probably 50 or 60 folks uh, that was in that line for the $30,000 course. So they made, you know, at least, you know, 50 or 60 times $30,000 <laughs> in that seminar. Uh, and then 
you know, when they talked to you later, which was a phone call after I got back home and they wanted to upsell me so I can get those additional privileges, uh, who, I'm, 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 it probably wasn't all 50 folks, but, you know, even they did 10 of us, you know, they got another $20,000 cost me another $20,000 uh, to, to learn, which, listen, I learned. I learned a lot. Uh, I, I'm not trying to say that this was a bad experience. I'm just saying that I, I had to pay my dues. I'm just saying that I didn't know what I didn't know. And so for me to go and find out what I didn't know, I had to come out of my pocket to learn. I had to basically invest in myself, invest in myself so I can learn how to go and get a check like this. Are you with me? I had to invest in myself so I can learn how to do it. Now, is there, are there cheaper ways to do it? There, there, it can be argued. Are these seminars really worth 20, 30, and 40, and 50 thousand dollars? Are they really worth it? Uh, for being able to make a hundred thousand dollars? There's a good argument. If you can do a deal and make $100,000 off of it or $50,000 off of it, there's argument as to why these price points are okay. Can everybody afford that? No, no. I was doing very well in the corporate world. I was making way over six figures a year and had over an 800 credit score and uh, was in a place where I was able to, to liquidate myself to, to do this. And I, I know not everybody can do that. In fact, a number of the mentees that I have right now, uh, they definitely are, are not able to do this. But they're working with me and they're learning how to do this. Okay? Now, I will also tell you this. They're working with me because uh, they are also investing in themselves to work with me. Okay? Uh, they're not investing a hundred thousand dollars because I, I really do have a little bit of heartburn with the amount. Uh, so I'm definitely not one of those types of charging you. I don't not even twenty thousand. I mean, I, that's just not my play. Uh, I am still in the business of doing real estate. I'm not in the real estate education business because that's a whole business in itself uh, to do. Now, so. <clears throat> Like I said, there were 200 other folks and, you know, at least 40, 50, 60 people that were spending the same kind of money that I was spending. And, who, you know, they were traveling the country. So they've got a number of folks that's spending money with them. And they have, and there's a number of people spending money to learn the business. This is it's, it's sort of like going to law school to learn law, going to being a physician. You go to school and you pay your dues. You come out with a hundred and fifty thousand dollars worth of debt so you can be a doctor. Uh, this real estate business is somewhat the same way. Now I see a lot of chatter on, on the social media platforms, mostly on Facebook and these groups where folks are always looking for help and things of that nature. And I'm going to tell you that the real good help the real good help will come from someone who's invested in themselves like me and there's others out there I'm, I'm not a guru I don't claim to be a guru I'm a guru uh, but there are others that's you know done millions and millions and millions of dollars this this business has been in you know has been around for generations for generations for generations the only reason it's as big as it is now is because uh, entities decide to come out from under the radar and now we have social media to kind of really blast it out. So now a lot of you are trying to get rich for free because you think social media is going to help you do that. You think you're going to be able to spend zero dollars and make a hundred thousand dollars. And you think that uh, because you've heard that there are strategies that can, that can be done that you can be able to do that and do it for free. However, let me ask you this. If it costs me $100,000 to be able to know how to do that, and you're coming and asking me, for instance, of uh, how to do this, why do you think that it would be right, fair, appropriate, you know, why 
will someone that has invested in themselves in to this degree want to freely share that kind of information why would someone do that let me tell you something in I look at a number of videos from a number of different folks that I follow, whether it be Facebook, YouTube, and all this. Uh, these are the, even folks that you probably know of, because some of these folks are very well known nationally, um, and then there are some that not as known as others. But I watch them all, and a lot of them, and just so I can kind of stay in the know. And what I would tell you is, nobody is giving you the secret sauce and the details of how to do this business and how to do this. No one, no one. Because practically this does not exist. Practically it doesn't. Practically this does not exist. You will not get rich for free. We can change the numbers on this. We can say zero dollars of investment, make it fifty thousand dollars. We can say zero dollars of investment, make it five hundred thousand dollars. We can say zero dollars of investment, even at ten thousand dollars. Practically, not going to happen because folks, and even the folks that you can find on the YouTubes and the Facebooks and whatever channels you watch, are not sharing that for free. They would invite you in for free and they would find out do you have capital for marketing? Hint, hint. <laughs> and then if you seem to kind of fit, then they'll sell you, you know, a twenty or thirty or fifty thousand dollar program. Otherwise, you're left without having all of the knowledge with the exception that there are folks like me now that have made and I'm not the only one but I'm one that have made a decision that I don't want to have a business like this because I think there are other folks that want to get in the game that needs to get in the game to change their life and to help their families and they really should want to learn this business it is a complex and simply you don't know what you don't know if no one really showed you if no one really have walked you through it you're not going to know it it's not something you're going to just figure out on your own uh, in fact those that are trying to figure it out on their own they're they're bringing problems on the industry right now this is probably one of the reasons why the, in right now in the state of illinois you can't wholesale anymore because the government gets involved uh, when there's a lot of problems that's happening. Problems are happening either because people are doing bad things because they're intentionally doing or they're doing bad things because they really don't know what they're doing. But at the end of the day, the results of things that are happening are bad. So now the government says we got to regulate this. So in the state of Illinois, uh, you can't wholesale. Uh, this is not going to be possible. <laughs> And guess what? When one state goes, other states may decide to join on the bandwagon. So it is my goal to help folks. But I'm going to tell you, it's going to take a little sweat equity. And I, I do charge, but it's small, nothing, nothing compared to this. I will talk to you and I can work with you on, on what those arrangements will be like. Not, it's not about the money for me it's about my time being spent with you as well as the value that you will get uh, because of my experiences because of the loss and there are a number of successful investors out there that will tell you that they've had to pay their dues now am I going to say that uh, uh, I can make money in real estate without using my money yes I am going to say that uh, I can tell you a, a few different scenarios where uh, uh, I've made some money without using my own. Um, <laughs> I, I remember my biggest, uh, it wasn't my biggest check, but it was a check that didn't cost me anything out of my own pocket. It was $40,000. But I also had to learn some strategies. I learned how to have the seller carry a note. I learned how to get some private money and, and, and make up the difference. I learned how to uh, market the property without having to uh, pay for it. And, and part of it was just a little luck. 
part of it was uh, after I closed, somebody called me out the blue, said somebody wanted it and they wanted it bad. And so I negotiated it and they wanted the property. So that was just a little luck. That wasn't anything about strategy. I know that some, you know, can argue that, you know, even driving for dollars, you can drive and possibly make, you know, 10, 20, 15, $30,000 driving for dollars. Um, it's possible, but you still have to know what you're doing and how to do it. Uh, but for the most part, this business is a business and it's going to cost you money. Uh, sometimes you have those anomaly situations that is by no effort of your own, but things did kind of work out because you're in the right place, right time, right product. But most of the time, it's going to be some efforts on your part. Marketing for one, having some infrastructure for two that can help you organize your business. Um, it's, it's a business. So this whole practicality of get rich for free, you know, I get a number of folks that would reach out to me uh, in different, you know, platforms and, and want to get information. I see a lot of folks in these groups as always asking for help. And then I see another rookie giving the answer to one another rookie about what they thought. And I'm looking at this is all a mess. Why don't you get some real help from seasoned folks? And the reason they're not doing that is because they think they're going to do this. And in the meantime, what I think they're going to do this, you have states like Illinois that apparently got things so jacked up up there that the state had to get involved and change it. And, and keep in mind, I suspect that it has something to do around the Chicago area. Well, why? Well, because Chicago is the third or fourth largest city in the country. There's a huge populace there. So, you know, you got folks trying to get in the game up there. I know there are folks up in the game up there. I've got a mentee up there myself. So that only is going to go to show that because folks are trying to figure this stuff out on their own and not really getting help and the tools that they need they're going to jack some things up uh because they're trying to do this which is pretty ridiculous pretty ridiculous but they're trying and and now you get government regulations involved and you know because the constituency is getting hurt in a negative way um so the whole notion about being able to invest no dollars in and make a lot of money. Uh, I'm going to say it like uh, Eddie Murphy said in the Beverly Hills Cop. <laughs> yeah, don't fall for the banana in the tailpipe. <laughs> Are you going to fall for the banana in the tailpipe? <laughs> and I know that might be dating myself, but uh, look up Beverly Hills Cop with Eddie Murphy and you'll see the falling for the banana in a tailpipe. And I'm telling you, you know, this whole notion of get rich for free, don't fall for the banana in the tailpipe. Invest in yourself. Invest in yourself. Someone that's had to spend this kind of money is not going to be willingly wanting to just share everything because it's not right. Why do I have to take the losses or take my investment and then do it for free? It, it's, it's like, you know, a doctor. Uh, you, you, yeah, we know life is important and, and being able to save a life is very important, but guess what? That's valuable information. You don't know how to do it because the doctor went to school, paid money to learn how to do it. And in order to get his services, he's got to get paid and this is the way he makes his living. So it's only fair for good work that he's doing that he gets paid. And you'd have to pay it in order to get that service, in order to get that understanding, in order to get that knowledge. If you're, if you're going to law school, you know, uh, they're paying to go to law school. And in order for them to help you out of a legal situation, well, they know the law and you don't. They know the loopholes in the law, if that's what you want to call them. They know how to work the law and you don't. So guess what? You have to pay them. And this is no different. You, you're not going to YouTube your way to getting rich. You're not going to be able to do that because folks that folks that have money, they know how to keep their money. They're not stupid. They know how to protect themselves. Now, 
we'll continue to throw these little seeds to keep you excited get your dopamine going in your brain so you get addicted to the feel-good messaging and things of that nature that's not said not necessarily what I do but that's how you're getting played uh, because everybody will post oh look how you can do this for free and no money out of your pocket and all this kind of stuff and you're falling for the banana in the tailpipe and you're getting addicted to the dopamine your best bet is to get a mentor, find a coach, and connect with him. And let me tell you the way I do my services. You, you don't get just two days with me. You have me for, for months. <laughs> and you don't get just an advisory line. Because when I call that advisory line, I got somebody different almost every time. When you call me, you get me on the regular. I also had certain hours uh, that I can only call and get help. You know, the cutoff was, I think, 6 o'clock or something. Well, what happens when I'm negotiating with a seller and it's 10 o'clock at night? Because I've had that. I've been in sellers' homes at 1 o'clock in the morning. Gotten there at 7 in the evening. Had to talk to them about the property. Negotiating. We're going under contract. I'm walking out of there at home at 1 in the morning, 1.30 in the morning. I've had a number of those. Where, where's the advisory line that help help me for that? Well, I didn't have that. Thank God I, I've, I've had, you know, I've gotten sense to get real mentors and real help things of that nature. So now I'm wanting to share that. When you have me as your mentor, you're going to have access to me. I'm not going to cut you off at 6 p.m. You can, if you're in a seller's home and if I need to help negotiate that with you, you you're going to have me. And I'm not necessarily selling my mentoring program. I am just trying to bring you into reality. Getting rich for free is the most dumb, ridiculous notion out there that millions of you guys, millions of folks who keep trying to fall for. And you keep falling for these, these little bait situations. And I want to just call it out and show you and tell you what you're running into but on the same token still offer you help so i don't charge you twenty thousand dollars <laughs> uh, i don't need need it like that that's not what i'm in this business for i'm in this business to help folks and i also want to help others help themselves so uh get rich for free zero dollars in hundred thousand dollar profit you're not going to do that on your own. You're not going to do that without any help. You're not going to do it because it doesn't really exist. Um, this $100,000 check that I told you I, I made here, that, 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 that took all of this already and then some. And then I was able to get a $100,000 check. This, this $50,000, $51,000 check here. And these are just couple that I got in check forms. Most of my transactions of the 100 has all been wire. Um, but uh, for whatever reasons, I've slowed down in some of these other cases and just because I wanted to have the check. I, I was told by my mentor that, you know, if I'm going to try to help folk, you know, you, you do want to have some evidentiary uh, items to be able to show. So uh, that's why I'm, in certain cases, when I think about it, I slow down, hey, just make it a check. You know, sometimes it's not really convenient because you got to get the check and you got to take it to the bank and all this kind of stuff. Uh, the wire is so much simpler, even though it costs, it's just simpler. But uh, so I've, in certain instances, when I think about it, uh, I slow down and, and get the check. So I'm not necessarily even trying to brag about it or nothing like that. All I'm saying is, you know, don't fall for the banana in the tailpipe. Don't, don't fall for that. Get you some help and learn your craft investing yourself listen and if you think that i'm the right person for you because i'm real i'm i'm, I'm going to be in your head about how this business really works i'm going to give you the details uh, working with me i've done over 100 transactions not just two not just 10. i've done over 100 transactions made over uh, i just haven't took time to add it up but i know it's over five hundred thousand dollars in gross uh, probably maybe even over six I don't know but um, you know I've had those successes not trying to brag boast or anything like that it, but it, you just feel like I'm just being real with you not trying to have some major production some major show something like that feel free to reach out 
feel free I have uh, a link in the description you can set and book guess what a 30 minute free consultation with me because I'm gonna still give you something for free I'm gonna give you some value uh, but I'm gonna be honest it's not going to be the value to actually make you all the way through successful but it's going to be some value to really get you going in the right direction and if you really want um, you know we can continue to have a conversation as to how you can have me as a one-on-one -on -one coach as a one-on-one -on -one mentor in fact I treat coaching and mentorship differently I don't charge uh, differently for both services but the, the, the coaching is a particular service and mentoring is a particular service I do combine them both uh, in this business uh, because again it's I'm not trying to make you know uh, $50,000 off my students like that uh, <laughs> that's not my business model I'm just I just need a little something for my time because if I'm gonna be on the phone with you and take these time this time with you I just need a little something for my time and involvement and and we'll work something out on how that can work out installments whatever so uh, but um, I, it's my mission to try to help why because I don't want Illinois and I was talking about this before this happened in Illinois because this happened in Illinois in, in August uh, just uh, last month 2019 this happened in Illinois where they begin to, de to to regulate the market so now you can't wholesale there and I, I'm afraid that it's going to go uh, uh, into other states and I just want to do my part to help bring some synergy to folks actually learning and growing in this business the correct way the right way where we're not hurting people out there and the government don't have to get involved because if we keep doing what we're doing now it's only going to get worse if we got if we keep having folks trying to figure out how to do this and they're, they think they're gonna figure out on their own by watching YouTube channels and buying books and and just going out there and winging it and they think we're gonna have more regulations come into this this business and that's what we really don't want. Uh, we we like the benefit of the capital uh, of capitalism, but you know, capitalism with a lot of regulation kind of hurts. Uh, unfortunately, regulation is necessary because if the constituency is getting hurt, it needs to be regulated. We want clean air. We don't want somebody putting out poison in our air. We want clean water. We don't put. We don't want lead in our water, um, and we don't want folks in. Um, in the real estate business uh, hurting folks that owns properties you know uh, and, and and taking advantage and doing the wrong things getting caught up in contracts that they can't follow through on and things of that nature so uh, if you are interested in uh, getting that additional help and getting that boost at least you know again feel free to book a 30 minute uh, free consultation with me and uh, we can talk about where you are and what my recommendations would be for you to get your business going and then we can also talk about uh, if you want a, a, a longer term relationship with me what that would look like and how that would work uh, and I would just tell you, you you get me you get all of me when, when you get me in so um, you don't get a representative or a salesperson or anything like that um, and also if you really like this content and uh, please uh, like and subscribe if you're seeing me on YouTube please subscribe if you're seeing me on Facebook please like and share uh, this content share it with uh, someone that you think could use it or just share it period uh, because there might be somebody else out there that's in business that, that does need to help and uh, again please feel free to comment if it's bad comments I would like to know that as well uh, but great comments is always a beautiful thing and I will respond back to you so uh, until then, let's see about getting you rich. I can't promise you to be for free, <laughs> but let's see about getting you some wealth. And uh, once we get you there, I see you at the top because the bottom sure is crowded. <laughs> I love that saying. God bless.